Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will implement a custom equalizer for managing audio controls in our player using a library. So, for now, we are using only a built in equalizer of device for audio controls, but we will create our own custom equalizer using library in this video. So, for this, first of all, we have to implement library. I will give the link in description box. This one is the library we will use for our equalizer. So first of all, we have to check if all these repositories are in our repository section in settings.gradle. In settings.gradle, you can see setting.gradle. If you have not a repository section in settings.gradle, then you can open build.gradle project file and check all the repositories in this section. I think we are using all the repositories Google, Maven, J Center, and this. Yes, we are using all this. So, moving forward, we will implement this library. Copy this. Build out Gradle module file. And down here, comment here. Equalizer and paste the library. Sync now. Now in video player XML file, video player activity XML file, open this video player activity XML file. We will create a frame layout for showing equalizer here. Frame layout width match parent height will be 400 dp. Take the background as transparent. Align parent bottom will be true. And now let's take the visibility as gone. ID will be EQ frame. Now in video player activity Java file, let's create object for frame layout and give ID EQ container and give id here eq container is equal to find view by id r id dot eq frame now we will check the click of equalizer when user will click on the position 3 we will open equalizer this code will open the built-in equalizer of android we are not using it so let's remove this code And here we will firstly check if EQ container dot get visibility equals to if the visibility is gone, we will set the visibility of equalizer as visible set visibility visible. And now, now we will get the session ID final int session ID equal to player dot get audio session ID create object of settings select the second one settings com dot bullhead dot equalizer this second one settings dot is editing equals false now create object for equalizer fragment this one equalizer fragment if you did not get the suggestions for equalizer fragment just write the equalizer fragment manually and if it's remain red then point on the equalizer fragment and alt enter but i have suggestions so i take the equalizer fragment and the variable will be equalizer fragment equalizer fragment dot new builder dot set accent color color dot parse color dot 
we will get the blue color that we are using in our app open this color and we can use this name purple 200 here remove double quotes r dot color sorry color dot purple 200 wrap using string now dot set audio session id will be session id and on the last dot build get sport fragment manager dot begin transaction dot replace r dot id dot eq frame and comma equalizer fragment dot commit playback icon adapter dot notify data set changed now let's check the app run app we got the error here saying uses minimum sdk version 19 cannot be smaller than 21 so we will change the minimum sdk version from 19 to 21 in build.cradle module file open this build.cradle module 5 up here we will change this minimum sdk version from 19 to 21 and also we can change the api target sdk version from 28 to 30 that is required for uploading app on play store if you want you can change it to 30 else you can take 28 i'm changing it to 30 so click on sync now now run app again close this file we got one more issue here saying duplicate class so simply just copy this line and paste in browser you can open this first stack overflow link i have experienced this error before so that's why i am simply using this answer this first one we can copy these two lines and we will paste in gradle.properties file open android studio here is our gradle.properties this one properties file and paste down here we already have this use android x line so we can remove this and use this enable jetify true sync now Now we can run app again. Our app is installed here. Let's open the app. Now let's click on this equalizer icon. My name is Joy and today our app is crash. Let's see what happens in run. Video player. Unknown color this is showing error here only in color section. So we can give a we can give the color code manually here. right here in color file copy this color code and paste it here run the app again
our app is installed again I'm going to click on this equalizer icon. My name is Joy, and today you can see equalizer is showing, and all the controls are showing SAV. fine. The BMW iX. We can also use this drop down. Strong partnership with Google. We at BMW have Base developed 3D. a new and easy way. Also, you can listen the password. audio changes. First, make sure that Bluetooth is activated. Then click. Now, if I click on this back button, will it will automatically hide the, the equalizer. Once your phone is paired, the back button of equalizer is closing the video also, but we do not want this. So we will do some work in own back pressed method, overridden method. Control F on back pressed. So in own back pressed method, let's remove these two lines and we will do some code here. Remove this super call. First create object for fragment. Fragment. Get support fragment manager dot find view by find fragment by id r id eq frame if eq container dot get visibility equal to gone then super dot on back pressed if by clicking on on back press if equalizer visibility is gone then we will use this super call in else statement again we will check if fragment dot is visible and eq container dot get visibility equal to visible then eq container dot set visibility will be gone in this else statement we will create one more if statement if player not equal to null means video is playing then player dot release and below here we will use supercall dot on back pressed now let's run the app Our app is installed. Open the app folder video. My Open name is Joy, and today we are here with a brand Enable new fully electric from SAV, here. the BMW iX. Now, if you click on this back button, it will hide the equalizer, not close the video. In a strong it. partnership with Google, we at BMW have developed a very new only. and easy way. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Until then, Allah Hafiz.